Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good evening. Okay, today our topic is about chapter number two, properties of pure substances. In this topic, you will see four subtopic. That's mean uh, number one, what should you able to know is um, the definition of your substances, also the heat phases, and the phases phase change processes of your substances. Then number two, or subject number two, the property diagram for phase change process. Uh, also the compressed liquid, saturated liquid, saturated vapor, and blah blah blah. Okay, and also the uh, the diagram PV and the uh, and TV diagram temperature versus specific volume and pressure versus the with a specific volume. Number three is properties table based on the water and refrigerant. Number four, ideal gas equations of state and ideal gas law. This sub chapter I have covered for you last week. That mean please see uh, chapter in chapter number one uh, sub chapter uh, equation of state or ideal gas. Right? Okay, this is the difference is between number three and number four number four the calculations if uh, the calculation that you have to do is is um, applied with a formula and calculation number three properties table remember what i have said to you that if the question is based of, uh, based on the water and refrigerant, that means the working fluid that turn or that operate the device or devices. So you have to use property table. Okay. Now in in chapter number two, we will look all of the thing that uh, all of the properties that covered pure substances. Okay, in this term, based on water and refrigerant, idea gas has covered. So let's start with a simple. Okay, this is degree slide. Okay, uh, uh, pure substances. Okay, I go for the diploma slide. The definition of pure substances that has a fit chemical composition throughout. Okay, anything that have fit chemical composition is called substances or pure substances. Example: water, refrigerant. Refrigerant can be divided into R one three four A, R twelve, R twenty two, and etc. So refrigerant, what is refrigerant? Okay, I have told you that refrigerant like the uh, gas or like a liquid or that can be turned into gas. Okay, yang mana yang yang kalau kamu pakai kereta was uh, aircon yang was satu, tetap kita baiki dia and kat pomen tu, you, you kata tambah gas. Okay, that is refrigerant. Sama juga di rumah. Okay, split unit. So you you have uh, you gas tu tak, tak sejuk so you uh, you call the foreman and then ataupun technician uh, uh, aircon dia datang dia masukkan gas ok change uh, phase change of fuel substances ok we we look first on water ok we look how water can be changed based on phase ok 
there this uh, look on the diagram here picture number one and picture number two okay inside the cylinder and piston okay we put water okay in this phase the water called compressed liquid because all the water in if the temperature is 20 celsius then the water will be as a liquid after a few times we heated this liquid to 100 celsius okay what happened when at 100 celsius water or liquid is ready to vaporize and when this situation come we can call it as saturated liquid that means liquid to dalam keadaan nak berubah vaporize to vaporize that means saturated liquid okay after that if more heat that means heating occur here more heat is being transferred to the water a part of a saturated liquid vaporized okay and this is a picture shows two phase the uh, one phase and this phase have saturated vapor and also have saturated liquid and at this condition we call it as saturated liquid vapor mixture or other name is mixture phase okay or mixture region okay when the temp uh, temperature remain at 100 Celsius until the last drop of the liquid vaporize okay what to need of sebab tidak ada dah liquid until the last kali liquid vaporize it become saturated vapor that's mean all the liquid have turned into vapor this cause saturated vapor okay then if the temperature increase the vapor start to rise and this uh, situation called superheated vapor okay if we plot these uh, situations to TV diagram, temperature versus specific volume, this is this is a graph that will be plotted. That will be plotted. That means um, phase number one, number two, refer to the uh, sorry not phase state state number one state number two okay state number three four and five okay oh, state number one state number two this is compressed liquid two and three is saturated mixture three and four also saturated mixture so at this situation saturated mixture the phase that have in there is saturated liquid uh, first that have that is saturated liquid and vapor okay liquid dan wap ada kat dalam tu then when the temperature increase it will become superheated vapor 100% vapor at this condition saturated excess it's not 100% vapor it is combinations of liquid and vapor that's why at this situation the temperature 100 is constant okay okay we go next slide okay what it, uh, the temperature when water start boil depend on the pressure if the pressure is fit so the boiler tem so it the boiler temperature okay saturated temperature T set Okay, saturated temperature dia punya simbol untuk T set is defined as a temperature when a pure substance changes at a given pressure okay 
saturated pressure. P set. Pressure, because we talk about pressure. Pressure when a pure substance changes phase at a given temperature. That is the definition of T saturation and P saturation. Okay, look at this diagram. T saturation is at 100. Okay, T saturation. When you plot on T V diagram, this is T saturation. Why? Because this is a level of saturated laku. Okay. Uh, left to right is vaporization. Right to left is condensation. Okay. Another term is latent heat. That energy absorbed or released in the phase chain process. That means later evaporation and condens condensation. Okay, these two uh, phenomena where energy absorbed or energy released, we call it as a latent heat. Okay, this is a repeating of heating process at different pressure. Okay, we look on T V diagram. Okay, this is a graph. If you look the graph at repeating heating at different pressure, this is pressure, low pressure. At the top is high pressure. That means the graph is like tanga. Okay. So temperature versus volume, the graph must be like this. And the pressure must be increased. Okay, the small pressure to the high pressure. Okay, if we okay, this one uh, shows that the region of the graph. That means this one touch that region lagi. So this one is we put the boundary to show the different phases that that can you determine in TV diagram okay at the left side here sometimes I call this one is as a bucket okay at the left side here around here it's called compressed liquid region inside the bucket is called saturated liquid vapor region ataupun mixture region at the right one is superheated vapor region so this region the phase is 100% liquid this region the phase is liquid plus vapor this region the phase is vapor iaitu wap ok so the line that uh, the line that uh, uh, separate liquid and mixture region is called saturated liquid line the the boundary or the line that separate mixture region between superheated vapor ataupun between uh, vapor region is called saturated vapor line and when we put together saturated liquid line and saturated vapor line at the top is critical point okay this all term or point in the diagram you have to remember or you have to know all this thermodynamic knowledge like this okay and this is for pressure versus specific volume same but the difference is a graph graph tu daripada atas tangga dia turun ke bawah okay yang nu daripada bawah naik ke atas thank you very much